everybody. So in this video, I want to take you through another great lead source on the MH Village here, okay? Another way to pull parks. So this is honestly probably one of the top ways that you can build your database for your mobile home parks. Of course, you going through Google is going to be a great resource, but this is probably one of the first things that I would encourage you guys to do. Come in here, organize all of your leads. You can build a large database to start calling immediately, okay? Come into mhvillage.com and under their main page, click Parks. And same thing as we do with the four rents, we want to look up a state. So let's say my state is Missouri. I wanna click the full state and click Search, okay? Um, as you saw here, they also have an advanced search. Let's see what option that would have given us here. To see if there's a way I'm looking for parks under a certain size. So let's go Y Parks, Missouri, park type. We want all age, that's fine. Okay, no, this is good. I just wanted to make sure that we couldn't select like an actual size park. Okay, so let's say my state was Missouri and that's my investing state. So now I have this pulled up and we can either look up by city or by county. Okay, so let's say that I have a county that I really wanna go deep in, right? And it's Benton County. Okay, comes up that there's 13 mobile home parks in Benton County. Okay, look, great, here's our first lead. Now we have all of these leads here that we can reach out to. I'm not saying there's gonna be phone numbers for all of these, but you will want to get the phone number for all of these leads. You realize that a lot of these parks are gonna be maybe outdated, they're not gonna have websites, there's gonna be something going on. So you can come in here, Now you can see a little bit about the property, number of sites, um, and the size of the park. So let's say I want to come in here and I want to then of course either Google the address and right here Southview RV Mobile Home Park. This is the where did that go? There's the property. So it's under Bradley Investments. If I come back, and one thing that you guys can do, you might find it will be more effective to come in. And let's say you just want to search the name of the park and then the state. Southview RV Mobile Home Park. Here's the address. Come in. Want to copy park name? Come in and copy the phone number. And come in here and copy the address. Okay? So look at that. And if you're anything like me, you might do something like this. You can click and highlight the whole cell, change the text back. Reset the size, and then do something like this. Makes it look a little bit better there. So now we have a seller lead call, okay? And you can rinse and repeat this process, and of course, using multiple different strategies, what I would do is while I'm on this here, I might come in, and change the map from this view over to actually seeing the area. And maybe there's another mobile home park in the area that I want to reach out to. Here's the RV resort. If you're buying RV parks, great. As I can see here, it looks like there's another mobile home park. There's not a name for it, so that's okay. We like those parks. Looks like gravel roads, smaller park. Maybe there's an entrance. Okay, here we go. Lake Hills Mobile Home and RV Park. And their phone number is going to be hard to read. Maybe that's 2442. Okay, so 
If you can't read their phone number, just come up and Google Lake Hills Mobile Home Park. All right, so that's how to pull the leads from here. And then same thing, I'll just come into the next lead, pull it up. And all of these, like I said, are in the same county, so they're all going to be pretty close to each other. Come on, I'm taking a lot of energy from my computer, I guess, to do the screen record right now. But, let me copy this. Okay, so I'm not finding anything on Google. Now I want to come in here and copy an address. So there's actually a phone number. So it looks like M&M Dirt and Gravel is a company. This phone number might not work, but might be a phone number to the owner who also owned one of the mobile home parks here. And I will just say, so this park has no uh, documentation here of the size of the park, or even if there is one here. I can tell there's some mobile homes right here. It's gonna be hard, so let's see. If we can get down to the street view. And yes, there are mobile homes here. There's no contact information. So that's not gonna be uncommon to happen. Um, you can still save that information and try to have them be skip traced. But look, right when we're looking at one, we found another. So this is the entrance, which they have a little entrance sign here. I believe very, very hard to see, okay? But like I said, we can go through this process here with MH Village and build up a database for wherever your county is located. If you're doing a whole state, do a whole state. Um, this is something that if I was in your shoes, I would personally outsource to a virtual assistant, have them build this database for you. It takes some time, but it is well, well worth it. Your database is gonna be the most valuable thing for you. Um, one thing, like I said, when you watch the for rent video is you'll see that there's um, like all-star communities or whatever it's called um, that MH Village kind of categorize that as the top of the line community. Those are probably ones that you don't want to reach out to. Probably just be a waste of time, but it's up to you guys if you want to you know, tackle a, a bigger park there. So that's pretty much it here. Oh, there we go. Um, another park, phone number, name, address. Go ahead and add them to our database so we can call them here. So that's pretty much it for this video. Rinse and repeat. You can literally search any city, any state, any zip code, whatever county you're investing in, and you can really build your database that way. So hope this answers any questions, and we'll talk soon.